systems that they don't have. Today I got to visit one of these training centers uh, where the Ukrainians are learning how to use an airplane, how to fly an airplane, uh, an American one called the A-10 Warthog. It was designed a long time ago, in the 1970s. It, it was first produced with the specific aim of taking out Soviet tanks in a potential war between the United States and the Soviet Union. The Ukrainians now say that the time to use this weapon has come because you have Soviet-made Russian tanks attacking Ukrainian territory, seizing Ukrainian territory. And the United States happens to have an airplane that is specifically designed to take out tanks on the plains of Europe. So the Ukrainians have gone ahead and started training how to use these planes before they get them. They're using virtual reality goggles and flight simulators to try to get as close as they can to learning how to fly these planes before the United States makes the decision to actually provide them. And the simulators are pretty convincing. I tried one of them on just now, um, got a bit of vertigo and felt a bit queasy and ended by catapulting uh, out of the plane. The pilots here say that uh, if they get close enough to learning how to use these planes, if the United States provides them, um, that can really make the difference in this war. That can really be a turning point in the conflict where the Ukrainian Air Force and the Ukrainian Armed Forces can not only defend themselves against the Russian attack, but start to take back some of the territory that Russia has occupied.